What's up, guys? Skitter Rampage here. So today we have another huge anime Funko Pop Grail. Let's see what I got this time. Before we get the video started, if you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss cool videos coming out each week. Make sure you follow me on Instagram where I update you on the collection and when videos come out. Make sure to join my Facebook group where you can buy, sell, and trade your Funko Pops. Join the Discord where you can talk to me and fellow collectors. Awesome community over there. And make sure to check out the Patreon. You guys can get early access to videos just like this one and even free gifts sent to you every single month depending on the tier. So make sure you check out all those links down below. All right, guys. So I had a subscriber reach out and he was like, hey dude, I know you've been looking for these two and I wanted to help you out. And I know like he knew they were going for high prices. I was like, are you sure dude? Because they're going for like $400 for both of them. He was like, yeah, I wanna help you out. I know you're looking for them. So really, really awesome of him to do. So big shout out to him. I don't know if he wants me to say his name or not. So I won't, but big shout out to him. Appreciate so much, dude. If you're watching this video, thank you so much. You really helped me um, get a jump start on this set. You know, as the pops are going for four hundred dollars, so I paid one forty. He asked me just for pop price guide at the time. They've gone up a little bit since, but he basically gave me each for like seventy bucks with shipping included and things like that. So really, really awesome of him to do. And he said he even included some extra things in the box. So it's kind of like a a grail haul in a mystery box haul as well. So. Really, really neat, super, super awesome. Can't wait to open these. I've been just looking at them and, and I finally grabbed them from my PO box. I was really, really excited. So, really awesome. Again, thank you so much. Just wanted to say a huge shout out to him for giving me such a great deal on these. That's, you know, that's a great community. It's really, really awesome. And, you know, I guess there's perks to this whole YouTube thing. I don't, I don't know. I guess I make half decent videos. Anyways. Like the video if you guys are a huge anime fan. I hope you guys are enjoying these anime videos. I know I've done a lot recently, but you know, I know I have a huge anime fan base. So I'm trying to do more anime videos for you guys. So, all right. So, okay. Okay, I'm so excited. All right, we gotta get this box open. Got my Batman knife that a fan sent actually. Really awesome knife as well. I probably shouldn't put that too close to my eye. Okay, I don't know why I'm wearing a Superman shirt for an anime unboxing. I don't, I don't know, but anyways. I've been so excited to show you guys this for the last week and a half or two weeks or however long it's been and it's finally here and I can't wait to show you guys. So as this video is going up, I am in California. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying these videos while I'm gone. Uh, obviously I'll be active in the comment sections every now and then, but I will be in California, like I said, taking a trip. So um, these videos are all pre-recorded for you guys. So um, working hard, <laughs> working hard so I can go to Cali and basically do nothing because everything's closed. So hopefully I can pop hunt a little bit, we will see. Anyways, okay, if I can just get this box open. Lots and lots of tape. All right, oh, he put a note, that's awesome. Okay, put a note. If his name's on the note, then I'll say his name. Otherwise, I don't know if he wants me to say his name. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't think people want me to say their names. I don't know, anyways. Hey Skittle, just wanted to say I love your videos and the content with, um, within them. Always looking forward to your videos. Keep up the great work. Hope you enjoy what's inside. Lance. So he he put he put his name, Lance. So it's Lance. Okay. I, I wasn't sure if you want me to say your name. So anyways, Lance, really awesome dude. Thank you so much, dude, again. I'm super excited to see what you included. Um, all right. So, wow, he packed this thing to Kingdom Come. Okay. So I don't really know which one is the mystery aspect because I know what two of them are, the ones that I bought. Um, so, okay. So he did really top tier packaging too, jeez. Okay, are you guys ready? I feel like, you, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for another anime grail? Recently, my most recent grail, guys, was Spike. And then I also did a mystery box where I pulled a little uh, mini cool grail too as well. If you guys want to check that out, throw that up there for you. But anyways, are you guys ready? Three? Two, one. Oh, first, awesome. So we have Soul Gear from Soul Eater. Got the Soul Eater set. Um, well, I have some of the Soul Eater set, but we have Soul here, and I got Soul and Maka, obviously. Really, really awesome one. So I'm about, I wanna say I'm about eight episodes into the, the show. Um, so it's like, it's really slow in the beginning, I will say, the show. And he, uh, Lance here, he told me that it picks up a little bit, and a couple of my other um, subscribers, things like that, said that Soul Eater picks up. So I'm definitely gonna finish it, obviously, because, you know, I wanted the pops and things like that. So, um, wow, that is a beautiful pop. So, Soul himself is going for like $200 on certain sales. That's crazy. So is Maka. It's just nuts that he gave me a deal like that. Really, really awesome of him to do. All right. All right, let's open him up. I gotta take him out of box, obviously. I know, I'm gonna take like $150 to $200 pop out of box. What is wrong with me? Oh, also, I wanna update you guys, though. Since we're on the topic of Grails, I actually, um, 
actually sold my Green Arrow grail, the DC Universe one, number 15. I sold it for a good price. It was really cool. So uh, got some grail money sitting around here. But anyways, we have Soul from Soul Eater here. So this is in top-notch condition, I will say. He is overall in really great condition. Really awesome of him to give me a deal on these. All right, so let's take him out of box. Let's take him out of box. Ah! I can't get him out. <laughs> He won't open. I'm trying not to crease it, and it's just like, ah, come on. Really? Like, really? Is this, is this, is this for real? Is this for real? This is gonna be the death of me, a box? This is like five minutes of me just trying to open a box. Normally this works so well for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on you little devil. There we go, we got it. I was gonna get it, I was gonna get it without making a cut. I'm trying to make less cuts in the video. All right, so we have Soul here. Really, really awesome dude. So cool. Ah! You have to open both sides. Wow, he's really in there. She's in the insert. That's good though, so he doesn't pop out during shipping or things like that. So we have Soul here from Soul Eater. That's a really cool pop. Look at that. Wow. All right, Soul actually made this figure really, really well. It's cool. Okay, so next up, I will show off Maka if I pull her, hopefully. Oh yeah, I see Maka. Okay, cool. So I see Maka. Oh, let me put him back in his spot since he's a, you know, he's a two hundred dollar pop. Um, ah. Oh god, I'm treating this so roughly. I'm so sorry, but it's just kind of like it won't go back in. That's what she said. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Ah. Is that is that good? Is, are you good? Are you good? I'm do I'm just gonna do this all on camera because I I only assume you guys want to see the boring parts as well that I do. Um. You know what, I'll just, I'll fix it later. I'll fix it later, it's taking too long, it's taking too long. I haven't got to the second box. Anyways, ready? We have Maka from Soul Eater as well. That's a really cool one as well. Um, so I watched Soul Eater a, a long time ago. It was like a long time ago. I didn't even get through the first season because I got kind of bored of it. Uh, but recently, obviously I've been collecting more and more anime and I've been trying to watch more and more anime and give more anime a chance. Um, this is a really, really cool one. Um, so, wow. And she is in great shape as well. So, we got Maka here. What would have been really awesome if they were the pre release stickers? I really want the pre release stickers of like all the pops because that pre release sticker is just so amazing. Um, to give you guys like an example, uh, I have Naruto down here. Um, you guys can't see my Naruto set, but I do have the complete Naruto set down here. I probably should move it like right up here. But, anyways. That is a Naruto and with a pre-release sticker for Hot Topic for anybody wondering. Um, so that's what the pre-release sticker work, um, pretty much looks like. So basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a pre-release sticker and uh, it just gets that sticker when it releases much early than the pop itself. So they don't really do these anymore, I will say. They probably haven't done any in a while. It's mostly on these older anime pops, which is kind of a bummer because, you know, it's a really cool sticker. But I don't, at least I think they don't do them anymore. If they do, let me know down below. But anyways, Maka here from Soul Eater. She's in great shape. That's amazing. I really, really like that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's take Maka out of the box. Hopefully she is not a disaster like Soul was. Uh, <laughs> oh, her box is really tight. That's that's what she said. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. Why do you hate me? Why does Funko hate me? I swear, they're out to get me. They make these boxes like this. On. Like, why do they make them so difficult just to open? It's not that serious. Like, you, sometimes people use knives to open them, things like that. All right, I popped her open. Don't worry, she's not damaged. I think at least. Yeah, she's not damaged for the most part. All right, <laughs> she has some shelf wear on her, but what pop doesn't, pretty much. All right, so we have Maka. Does she have a base? Oh, she does have a base stand. Okay, so she has a base stand. But anyways, Maka here from Soul Eater. That's a pretty cool pop, I will say. Look at that. The attention to detail on the scythe is really good. Um, her school girl uniform is really detailed as well. The yellow shirt, um, the red and black on her skirt. I will say her skin tone looks a little bit different than her face on her legs. It's kind of funny. Um, like the color of her shoes and uh, the gloves and everything. It's a really cool pop. I really like that one. You guys see like the scythe there? Or scythe, my bad. Kind of really detailed. I like it. So moving on guys, we have the mystery aspect of the box. So I really don't know what he sent over. I'm only assuming it's Soul Eater themed because I told him, I was like, well, I only have Death the Kid and uh, I'm gonna pick the other ones up eventually and do like a full Soul Eater set review. But 
Let's see, I'm only assuming it's the least. So we have, yep, we have, um, I can't see her name. I don't remember her name, but I can't see it through the, the bubble wrap. So give me one second. Um, we have, oh, Subaki. You know, it's funny, Subaki was in my head, but I just wasn't sure, so I didn't want to be wrong. But we have Subaki here, and I believe he sent over Black Star too. Most likely. If he didn't send over Black Star, it'd be weird to not do it, you know, with Subaki. I don't know, I don't know. But thank you, dude. Thank you so much for the gifts. That's so nice of you to do. That's really awesome. You did not have to do that or give me the deal, so thank you so much. So we have Subaki here. Um, probably, I just really wanted to show off the Grails too. I won't take her out of box just because, you know, there's no point. I'm gonna do a full set review in the future anyway. Um, so yeah. Oh, the next one is Patty, actually. Patty GameStop exclusive, that's kinda cool. Look at that. That's a neat one, I actually needed this one. So he did not send Blackstar, so I gotta get, so all I need left, guys, is Liz, Blackstar, and that's it. I only need Liz and Blackstar, cool. Cause Riley got me Death the Kid and he just got me four or he, you know, he helped me get four of the set that I needed. So that's really awesome. So yeah, I only, <laughs> I only need two more. That's really awesome. Oh, did I sh I'm sorry. I probably didn't even show you guys. That's a really cool one. So she is one of Death's guns um, other than her sister Liz. So it's kind of cool. All right. So yeah, guys, that was a really cool haul. That was really nice of him to do. Oh, oh, there's one more thing. Hold on one sec. There's one more thing we have. Oh, I just dropped. Spocky. Anyways, we have a little uh, pocket pop, I believe. Naruto six pads. Oh, that's kind of cool for the Naruto line. That's sick. Does it glow? I don't think it glows. It doesn't say it glows in the dark, but that's a cool little figure. So I don't, I don't have any pocket pops. Like I did, I got them in like a mystery box or not a mystery box, but like a big lot that I bought, but I don't really collect these things, but that's kind of cool. I'll throw them in my Naruto collection for sure. That's really neat. Thanks so much, dude. This is like my first pocket pop gift, basically. Uh, that's really, really awesome. All right, so huge anime haul done, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below and comment down below what's a recent anime pop that you picked up. Um, but yeah, again, Lance, or am I saying your name? Is it Lons or Lance? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, I have a terrible pronunciation like thing with me. It's just, it's so bad with any anime names or anything ever. So many people get on me about it. It's... It's really sad. Anyways, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you guys. Like, you're so awesome. This was so awesome to do. Um, I've been wanting to get those pops for a while now, and they've just been kept shooting up in price. So, $140, that was really awesome. Really awesome haul. But thank you so much. I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are absolutely amazing supporting me through, especially the pandemic. It's just nuts right now, and the support means so much. So thank you so much. And thank you guys for all the views and likes and shares, comments. You know, everything like that. Just watching the videos. Just thank you so much. But that's it for me, guys. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.